Hey, this is Mike, and today we're at the Pearl Theater for the red carpet premiere of Brotherly Love, the new movie from Philly's own Jamal Hill, starring Kiki Palmer and Corey Harding. Silence. Serge, I'm so proud of you, bro. You've been working on your game since you was six years old. I taught you all your moves, man. Yeah, so you know. <laughs> I played June. I played the older brother, Kiki Palmer. And um, Eric Hill plays my younger brother. And I'm the father figure, you know what I'm saying, to them. And I'm the family, like, I'm the guy who holds down the family since we lost our father. And it was a great script. And when I read it, I was like, wow, this is a great script. I want to be a part of it. So I auditioned, just like everybody else. Yeah, tell, us, tell us about working with Jamal Hill. He's a hometown hero. He's crazy. No, it's funny. Jamal, I love Jamal, man. He's ambitious. He's talented. He has a lot of passion. And he has that calm, cool demeanor, kind of like myself. So we hit it off from day one, man. I gave him everything I had, and I did my best. So he's talented, man. So he's up and coming, and he's doing his thing. So I'll what, Compare working on movies like American Sniper to doing some independent films. Say it again? Working on American Sniper compared to this. It's all, it's all the same. It's, the camera's the same. You know what I'm saying? It's just a different movie, different time. You know what I'm saying? It's just different. But to me, I treat it all the same. I treat every project the same and do my best. My name is Eugene Moss. I'm here, you know, supporting my role in the film. I'm the nemesis of Sergio, Eric Hill. So it was a good opportunity, you know. Never look back and progress and move forward from there. So, you know, yeah. How does it feel bringing Hollywood to Philadelphia? Oh, it's a blessing, man. Once a lifetime opportunity. It's like a dream come true. I can't complain. I'm just thankful for the role I had and get other opportunities and never look back. Mike Real Black. That's all. That's who brought me out tonight. Mike Real Black brought me out tonight. Mike said, listen, I got some pictures of you in Cancun in 92. Buck, you got to come out. And I, and I was coming to repay the favor. All right, now, last time I saw you in the red carpet, you told your side of the story about Kevin Hart. Now, he's got on the radio. Me some light now. Can you can you set the record straight? Tell us the story. The, the record straight. Kevin Hart, me, and Tere Gordon went to New York to do a comedy show. I, I brought a car off a Spanish guy. He told me that the tags was to the car. He said, if you don't give me the tags back in two weeks, I'm going to report my my tags stolen. Me, being a young buck, never had a car before. I had to tax three months. He reported the car stolen. They pulled Michael Blackson over while he was driving. And the bottom of the story is, the more of the story is, Kevin told on me, Teray told on me, and Mike told on me. I was eating counterfeit money, and they locked me up. They told on me for real. So my story, coming. matter of fact, I want you to do my story. Okay. Now, now, but he, he said that uh, you steal a lot. He said, I'm You're known for stealing cars. I don't steal cars, man. I'm known for selling handicap tags. So if you want a handicap tag, you come to see me. I am Tiffany E. Green, actress from Philadelphia and also one of the costumers for the film. So that's what brings me out tonight to come check out our fashions for the actors. We actually created different wardrobe for everyone that's in the film. Some people, uh, we follow colors. There's some, uh, we, some, some of the people, we follow colors to make sure that everything went according to what the director wanted. So once you check out the film, you guys will see all the latest fashions in there. And that'll be because of me, Jason Griffin, Angela Edmonds, and also Celine Roberts. Now this has got to be exciting, you know. Yeah, this is not your first red carpet premiere, but this is a pretty big one. No, it's not my first red carpet, but it's my first red carpet for actually doing wardrobe on a project. And I'm excited because it's a Philly-based project. So you guys are going to see a lot of Philly styles in it. You're going to see some Philly actors. we got a Philly director from the Philly producers. So I'm really excited to be home to do this project. How you doing? I'm Carvin Hagen's Grammy Award winning songwriter and producer. And this is Miss Bria Marie. Hello. <laughs> it's got to be exciting, Hollywood and Philly. Oh, listen, it's always exciting when Hollywood comes to Philly. But, you know, Philly Philly is the essence of Hollywood. In almost every movie you look, there's a Philadelphia artist, there's a Philadelphia writer behind it. So we, we, we always in the building, but it's good to have the camera shining on the city for real now. Now, have you, were you involved with the film at all? Or? No. Okay. So what are you working on now? Right now I'm working on Miss Bria Marie's album. It's coming out June 3rd, the single that's out right now, and pretty much that's what we're doing. We're building great music for the city. Do you want to speak on it? Do I want to speak on my album? 
Yes, I am so excited for my album to come out and prayerfully some of those songs can be in this sequel. Um, the album is called Freshman um, and just look forward to it. It's going to be exciting. What's up? This is comedian, actor, filmmaker Keith from Up the Block. I'm out here to support Charlie Mack. Show some brotherly love right here at the early screening of Brotherly Love, which will be in theaters on April 24th. So make sure that y'all support it. We right here at the Pearl. In North Philly, home of Stand Up At The Movies, where I do my live entertainment, live show inside of a movie theater thing. But I'm here tonight, and it's all about Charlie Mack. Now, I know you've seen the trailer. What are you most excited about this film? To tell you the truth, I, I am really the biggest fan of like Charlie Mack. He's the man with the Midas touch. Everything that he touches turns to gold. From artists like Boys the Men to Meek Mill to now moving into the film productions, I can't wait to see what this grows into. Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Philadelphia. Brotherly Love is about Philly, for Philly, from Philly. Now, you, you, sort of, you discovered a lot of talent. You're the life changer. Well, yes, I am the life changer. Well, again, I mean, I just feel like, you know, if I have the opportunity and the bridge, I'm saying, to extend that to brothers and sisters, I'm saying, to have talent, then why would I stand in the way, you know what I mean, of giving them the opportunity? So I'm just doing my job. I'm a servant. Okay. And, and as far as Philly, speaking, Yes, Philadelphia. 215. 215. I feel like, I feel like Philadelphia itself is actually the star of this movie. It's a star, you know what I mean, and I feel like, and I feel like, uh, I feel like we need to let the world see what it is that we go through every day. We have a lot of talent, and what happens is a lot of talent gets taken out of Philly. People come here. Everybody that has, I'm talking about the most successful people in the business, they have somebody intricately involved from Philadelphia in their career. I don't care who it is, Jay Z, Justin Timberlake, everybody, Will Smith, all of them. Of course, Will's from here; he's our native son. But everybody that's doing something successful, they have somebody intricately involved in their career from Philly. My real team, black. Real black. Real black. Talk, talk about the day. Oh, you, you dyed your beard. That's like. I did uh, just a little something. Just, just for the night. You want to be like me. How, what does it feel like bringing uh, Philly, Hollywood to Philly? Uh, it's exciting, man. You know what I mean? To see all these good people out here and to see the work that's coming back to the city, the shine that's coming back to the city, the spotlight on the city. I think it's just a phenomenal opportunity for, for Jamal Hill, Charlie Mack. For Philly Vision, for Flavor Unit, all of them, that what they're bringing back, I think it's a beautiful thing and it'll be a sounding board and a stepping stone for a lot of other beautiful things to come in the future. Yeah. Now, Asia, you, you guys had the direct connection. Are you in the film? Are you in this film too? Or? So is in the film. My husband's repping for the group in the film. I am in the film. He's doing fantastic work in there. You're going to love it. Okay, but you're also the stars of another Jamal Hill joint. What's, what's it? Well, I, I got the mic. Right. So what's what's it like working with Jamal? Uh, Jamal's wonderful. It was great working with him. I think he did a wonderful job. Obviously, he did a short film with us called A Couple Friends, mm -hmm. named after our current album, A Couple Friends. Mm -hmm. So we're here to support Jamal Hill and Charlie Mack, who helped to bring that project together. And uh, we just had a great time. I mean, it was all Philly all day, although I'm from D.C., but you know. <laughs> Philly girl. <laughs> Halfway. <laughs> How you doing? I'm J Ron. This is our brother. J Lil. And this is our brother. Bro Swag. And this is our brother. King Kashi. This is our brother. Ace. And we are Lovely Love. Awesome. Now, what came first, the the group or the movie? Um, I think I'm not too sure, but I know we've been going for about uh, almost a year now, strong. And I know the movie has probably been just probably been crazy processes of thinking up the movies. I'm not I'm not too sure, but. It is crazy how that plays out. Um, us singing for Obama last year, and then the movie coming out, and that's kind of helping us, you know, stay relevant. So that's cool. Yeah, now I saw that clip. It kind of went viral. Yeah, yeah. Can you give us a taste of what you did that day? Well, you guys want to hit it real quick? Do it. Uh, Six, seven, I was young, and didn't have to wake up and sing. Ooh, na na na. Now you, you have an uncommon connection. Like you, this is not your first Jamal Hill joint. It's not my first Jamal Hill joint. Uh, Jamal Hill and Charlie Mack have believed in me from day one, and you know I'm just truly blessed to be on this journey with them. This is my second film with them. I played the lead in Streets alongside Meek Mill, so to be able to be here again and do it with them on a bigger budget, where we have a theatrical release, like I just we're blessed and we're favored, and I'm just truly grateful for them giving me the opportunity and just trusting me with their with their work and with their material. And um, I'm just happy to be here putting off for my city coming back after moving to LA, knowing that this movie was shooting here, and I knew I was gonna be in it. There was no way that I was not gonna be in this movie. So I just wanna encourage all the people coming up behind us and just everybody in the city that 
you know, I come from Philly, so we, we all grow up the same way, but we, we don't have to be become a product of our environment. And that anything that we want, we can reach it, we can obtain it. And I just want to be an example of that. Tell us about the film. What inspired you to make it? Um, Brotherly Love. Urban story about teenage kids growing up in West Philly, set on the backdrop of Overbrook High School. Um, this movie is, at the end of the day, it's about choices. The choices you make will dictate your future. And, you know, a lot of times we think we live by the day, but you got to live life for the, for the marathon opposed to the, the, the quick race. So, you know, that's basically what it's about. And um, it comes out again April 24th, Brotherly Love. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, now, you've come a long way from Money, Power, Respect. What, what lessons have you learned in the last year? I have learned to be patient with this craft because it's only going to happen when it's supposed to happen. Yes. And uh, words of advice for people out there? Um, my words of advice is pay attention to the art of it. Um, the glitz and the fame is just a byproduct of being good at your craft. Um, I think a lot of times you get caught up in the allure of fame and the actors and all that. And I think, you know, it boils down to just being good at what you do. Well, congratulations, and you're bringing Philly, Hollywood to Philly. That was the goal. Yeah, sure. Well, you know, it, my Philadelphia hasn't had a real industry situation since Kenny Gamble and Leon Huff. So me and Charlie's idea was to bring that energy back here, for, but not only for film, but film and music. You know, so, yeah, we're going to try to do it like that. This is my friend Jamal. Yes, this is my friend Mike. All right, and you got to check out Brotherly. Wait, what's the name of the movie? Brotherly Love. When? April 24th. Okay.